Uh, it was a grind for sure. Definitely a learning curve for me. But I feel like it was a good year overall, just being able to be around the guys, the group guys that we have made to the playoffs. So, I mean, for my first year to go to the playoffs and watch that is, you know, that's a tremendous experience. So, I mean, it was a great year. That's what you're saying. No, really just routines and everything. Just for me, my, as a rookie, like, I didn't really have a routine coming in. And it's just like seeing the guys and how they take care of their bodies and, like, being on time to the gym, just getting up extra shots. Just all the little stuff. I mean, I took away from everybody. So, that was a big thing for me. What aspects of your game are you working on the most often? Um, I mean, really just becoming more college and efficient player, like just being more efficient. I mean, I had games where I feel like I was less efficient than others, but just going out there and competing and playing the right way, just offensively, defensively, just, just being efficient on both ends. Looks like you put on a little bit more muscle this offseason. How much have you worked on your game in the weight room to try to bulk up for this next season? Oh, a lot. I mean, since I've been here, I gained 26 pounds. I was 170 when I got here, 196 now. So, I mean, that's that was a huge jump for me. And I feel it when I play now. So, I feel real good. So, I just can't wait to show it. Amani, what are you maybe trying to get the most out of the summer league year two for you? Or so what's the personal goals that you have for yourself? Oh, I just can play, uh, play a complete game, like uh, defensively, offensively. Just go out there and play a complete game. Make my teammates better and be a vocal leader because, you know, I've been here before. And I mean, a lot of guys are new here on so many teams. So, just talk to them and helping them out. How much are some of the new guys, you know, rookies guys coming in and looking at you as somebody with that experience already and kind of uh, how much are you embracing that leadership? Um, I'm embracing it a lot. I mean, of course, it's fresh. I know last year I asked a lot of questions in my first year. It no matter, like, the age group or nothing, but, I mean, it's a new, new game of college. So, I mean, it's been fun. I mean, the guys, got a good group of guys. Everybody wants to have fun and just learn. So, it's been good. What's the most beneficial part of this time of year, mini camp and then into summer league? for the whole team, not just the individual. Um, really just the guys together, we all working. I mean, everybody's trying to get better and we pushing each other. So I mean, everybody coming here with the same mindset. We get better and compete. So we know it's not going to be easy, but we just come here and compete. And you know, trying to make each other better every day. Are the workouts that you want to the drills you can do differently this summer than, let's say, last summer? And if so, how? Just more specifically, what do you want? Just me or just the team of uh, all me? Uh, really just same kind of thing, trying to take what I learned from this year and try to implement it in this year. Like, just working on getting to my spots without having to over dribble or like, you know what I'm saying? Getting my shots in the spots I want to instead of forcing certain shots I don't want. So really, like I said, to help be efficient, right? And making sure that it's like, I'm getting straight to the point of not wasting like my time. Would you feel like you that aspect just from the start of last year to the end of last year? Yeah, for sure. Especially just watching film. Like, throughout my whole year, just watching my year, good and bad, and just seeing the things I need to work on, the things I got better at. So, I feel like I got way better at it, for sure. When, you, when you're watching film, are you watching more so just individually you, or are you watching other players in the no, I definitely watch other players in the league. I watch myself too, just to review like my season, just the things I can work on. But I watch a lot of players, especially in my position, like things they do well and trying to implement in my game. But I definitely watch the league a lot. Yeah, even the summer league games that's been played, I've been watching them too. So I just love watching basketball. Who are some of the guys that you pay the most attention to? Um, play guys like Jason, um, Jalen Brown. Those are the two guys I can say off the top just because we played them. And I was just seeing how they got to their spots and made the game easy for themselves. And um, I mean, for their size and like, you know, their wings. So, but just watching them, the guys just get downhill, not wasting time. I mean, it was good. It was good. To somebody that doesn't know, how do you explain G League life? Mm -hmm. um, I mean, really, it's a grind. You gotta go out there. I mean, everything is not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna, it's a lot of learning curves out there for sure, but it's, it's good for your development. I mean, you got people out there that's all trying to fight for a spot. So, I mean, it's real good for sure. What is your mentality coming into year two? Do you expect to be in the G League again? Do you expect to be with the Cavs this season? How are you approaching that? Um, to be honest, I'm really letting them, you know, handle that part. But uh, to, for me, it's just going out there play. Go out there and be the best version of myself. Whatever they do, however we got to do it. I mean, that's my agent for me. I really can't go into that. But, Really just going out there and just trying to play the best basketball and win the basketball games. Yeah, that's my mind. Do you feel like you're one of those guys that is not, as a competitor, not trying to prove other people wrong, but trying to prove yourself right? Uh, I really want to say improve anything to anybody. I just feel like going out there and playing the game I love. Is, I mean, that's me just having fun, bro, being at peace, doing what I love to do. So I really don't do it for nobody but myself, for real, and then the people I love. But 
Yeah. It's all about just me playing the game that I've been playing since I was a kid. That's all. What's something that surprised you the most last year, whether it was the schedule, the routine, the way of life in the G League? What was the most surprising thing? The up and down part. It was, it was hard to adjust at first. Like, just being with them, then coming up maybe for like two weeks. And, I mean, being away from the team is kind of hard, especially when I was playing. And then, like, if they got a flow and then I had to come back down. So, just really adjusting. That was the main part for me, just adjusting to that. What advice would you give someone that is going to be in that position mm-hmm. or this, this coming in? Um, really, just got to stay level headed, no matter how it goes. Like, you never know when your name can get called. Even if you're up, just cheering. Like, I mean, just always just being prepared for whatever. Like, uh, just being prepared, really. That's my thing. Just be ready for whatever. During your film study, what what are some aspects of your game that, that you think that you can get better at? And what what ways can you do that? Um, I feel like really, like, defensively is one of my biggest ones because offensively, I really know what I can do. So, defensively, just being in my spot early over my teammates. Um, offensively, like I said, being more efficient, getting to my spots without wasting dribbles, turning to around the use. But um, really just being an overall player, like just trying to be better in all the aspects I can that I wasn't as good as last year.